They brought us to this old hotel in the middle of a sketchy area. And I'm like, what are they gonna do? Ladies, for this week's main challenge, it's here that you will scavenge among the ruins to put together a fabulous outfit that screams post-apocalyptic couture. Now you can use your own wigs, undergarments, and shoes, but the rest has to be looted. Only three things will survive the apocalypse: Cockroaches, Cher, Amen. <laughs> and drag queen zombies! The zombies were scary as hell. They got like guts coming out and eyes popping out. I'm like, mm-mm, no ma'am. When I saw the zombies coming after me, I was about to hit it. All right, you've got three minutes to grab what you can and avoid being eaten alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm running around in between these zombies and I realized that they're former competitors from competitions past. Chanel, Venus, Morgan McMichael, Delta Work. I got to see Akasha, Raven, Pandora Box, Angina. Oh. Give me that, give me that, give me that. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, bitch, because you're crazy. I'm from New York, mother Oh, of course, of course. I'm looking for anything sparkly, anything structured, anything that I can glue onto a costume that I create. And then after that, I just start grabbing everything. Ah. Ah. Like people don't stand there while zombies are coming at them. They run, bitch. LaShawn Beyond. Oh, oh nice. Let's Sean be hot. Yes, ma'am. She's got the whole world on her head. I thought a giant chicken laid an egg up there. I live for what I put down the wrong way. I had the world on my head and my post apocalyptic couture costume. It was a sick thing. Now, I wonder if she can get cable TV with that on her <laughs> head. Nobody Chad Michaels. Like okay. Oh, ooh, how chic. She could walk a mile for a camel toe. Real fish caught in a net. I'm a perfectionist. It's something I pride myself on. I'm feeling very confident. I love what I'm wearing. Very post-apocalyptic diva. And I'm feeling really, really good. Very Lawrence of my labia. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, the princess. <gasps> wow. Wow, clown slippers. It's like a slippers. life jacket. Yes, queen overboard. I'm giving the judges Waterworld Couture. I feel like I'm really living for what I'm serving. I love it. In case of emergency, your scarf can be used <laughs> as a flotation device. Kenya Michaels. Ooh. Oh. Oh. She's a phoenix That's rising right. from the ashes. That's it. Firebird. All the boys say She's so bloody tall. Walk that walk. I feel amazing. I feel in fire. I'm fuego. That moment I remember for all my life. Cock a doodle doo. Little Kim in the house. Something sprouting back there. Her garden is in full bloom. Latrice Royale. Yes, she Ooh. is. Oh, it's Latrice from Whoville. Yes, mama. I'm Latrice. So, of course, I stumped it on out. And I'm giving Big Girl Sexy, showing all my curves and swerves, and giving a little face, giving a little attitude, and a lot of ass. Yes. <laughs> Serve, honey. Mm -hmm. A queen for all seasons, Alisa Summers. She's got goggles up there. Apparently, she's going skiing. Oh, I hate when drag queens have bigger boobs than me. I'll say the hills are alive. I'm giving them sexy, I'm giving them dominatrix, and I'm on top of the world. There's no feeling like that ever. She's an all-terrain vehicle. She ATV something. All-terrain vajayjay. That's right. Oh, wow. 
Paris, London, Tokyo, Milan. Uh-huh. Oh. This is an infected Betsy Johnson, uh-huh. right? right? Yes, it is. Love is a battlefield. I'm serving the judges savage beauty. I'm feeling ferocious. I'm ready to attack. Milan is burning. Now let this be a lesson to all of us. Don't smoke in bed. <laughs> Next up, Jiggly Caliente. Oh. Look, she's got a leg up on the other girls. Yes, she does. Apparently, yeah. hoarding is the new black. <laughs> I'm here in the runway, and my adrenaline is on fire. Everything is pulsating through me, and I'm like, oh, here we go, bitch. I'm gonna show you plus size supermodel. She's one hot potato. And she seals in her natural juices. <laughs> <laughs> Dita Ritz. Word. Yes, wow, chocolate Barbie it. doll. Legs for days. I'm doing my runway, it's sickening. I am definitely channeling Naomi, I am channeling Giselle. I'm feeling it. You know, everything tastes better when it sits on a Dita Ritz. With thighs like that? You better oh, ask somebody. Yeah. Crack is whack. Oh, Madame the Queer. Looks like my leftovers last night. Give her an inch, she'll take a foot. Take that, Betty Rubble. I'm serving attitude and I feel so great like I have never felt before in my life. The entree of the evening, filet of soul. Mm. Goes great with some toe jam. Mm. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, back from the dead and looking gorgeous. <gasps> Thank you, Rue. This week, we challenged our queens to create unforgettable drag super foes. Tonight, they're ready to transform before our very eyes. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best women's win. My name is Chadissa Michaels. Ooh. Gorgeous. Lady in red. I'm from Little Cooch, Arkansas. While working at the Sugar Walls Clinic, a chemical contaminant infused me with super tightening powers of vaginal rejuvenation. Ooh. Work that dress, mama. By day, I'm an esthetician, but at night, I transform into... Fire crotch! Wow. She's a torch slinger. My mission is to keep the sugar walls of the world tight and right. Yes. Oh. Oh. My superpowers are flying, coochie lifting lasers, and hot Brazilian waxes. Call FEMA, because her coochie's on fire. They won't show up. <laughs> to activate my superpowers, I say, don't hesitate, vaginal rejuvenate. What a flamer. My name is Chanel Suits. I grew up in Nipple Junction, Tennessee. While working in a hospital lab, radiation infused my brain with magnetic lactation abilities. Black Widow. Kiss of the Spider Woman. By day, I'm a mammographer. But at night, I transform into... Lactasia. Oh, yes. Pure evil. My master plan is to douse the fire crotch's mission. My powers are supersonic speed and death rays from my breasts. Oh, it's getting a little nippy in here, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. I activate my evil powers by saying, Areolas activate, hard nipples lactate. Oh. Tweak it. <laughs> My name is Jujubee. I'm from the planet Solaris. Miss Laos in the house. A solar eclipse shot Solaris to Earth, causing me to become a bronze goddess. Bronze beauty. Glamorama. By day, I'm a beauty consultant. But at night, I transform into Melanina. Oh, I love the hair dryer. Yes. My superpowers are the magical TS gun. Spray. To activate my superpowers, I say, no Chino Che. She blinded me with science. That's her sun gun. And those are her sun buns. My mission is to bring a bronze glow to every human being. Fierce, solid color. Ginger snap. 
My name is Raven. I grew up on the planet Solaris. Ooh, Poochie. One day, my planet shot to the Earth during a solar eclipse, causing me to lose all pigment in my skin. Taylor Dane in the house. Tell it to my heart. Tell it to my heart only told half the story. Her ass tells the rest. Yes. By day, I'm a fashion photographer, but at night, I transform into... Sophia Fierce. Oh, wow. Something wicked this way comes. My master plan is to dominate the world by throwing shade from the cuffs on my wrist. Oh, power cuffs. Yes, the cuffs of doom. I activate my evil powers by saying, throw me shade, bitch. She's got some haunted hills right behind her. Uh-huh. This is a battle of good versus evil, and I'm going to win. Wow. Tonight, they're ready to murder the runway, and their death becomes her ensembles. Gentlemen, start your engines, and may the best woman win. Now, sissy that wow. Katya. Something seems really fishy here. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. I'm summoning up my best Tara Reid in Sharknado. I've got the stringy blonde hair, and I'm feeling the Shark Week fantasy. They both have fabulous mouths, don't you think? Yes. And they both unhinge at the jaw. Ginger Minch, looks like she suffered a grisly death. Oh. I am serving you baby bear realness, honey. I give a little spin, I strike a little pose, I give a little growl. Somebody's got their claws done. She's bringing bear back. Yeah, wow. You go growl. LaGuardia, Newark, Kennedy, Davenport. Kennedy fried chicken. Is she a chicken or a horse? Kitty, a girl. After a night of hooking, I got a take and thrown in the fire and crystallized. So I come out a fierce Glamazon drag queen, honey. A morality tale. Do not go to Tijuana for your plastic surgery. No. Max. <gasps> oh. Pretty. The ghost of drag present. I'm doing a jilted lover. She's stuck in purgatory as a ghost because she committed suicide by cutting out her own heart. It's very tragic. You know, a little club soda will take that right out. Now that's a heart-stopping look. Organ donor realness. Candy Ho, queen of the damned. I want to smell your vive. I am feeling fierce right now. I'm just a sexy vampire. I think she was fang-banged to death. If she's lucky. Kristen Stewart is eating her heart out. Miss Fame. Oh. I wonder what's running through her head right now. My name. I've been captured by the bride of the man that I've been having an affair with, and bitch got me with a blade through the skull. She's got a splitting headache. The last time I'll eat at Benihana. Jaden Dior Fierce. Orange is the new drag. I think she's looking really ripped. What had happened was I got put in jail, and then I tried to escape to go see my baby daddy. And I didn't quite make it over that fence. It is criminal to look that good. Uh-huh. She rises from the dead once a month to meet her parole officer, <laughs> Violet Chachki. <gasps> oh, my god. I'm numb from the waist down, tuck included. I really could die, bitch. I'm giving you realness. She's got a smaller waist than Barbie. Wow, don't sneeze, honey. It's all gonna pop. Amazing. Work. Now, sissy that wow. This week, we challenged our queens to conjure up their evil twins. And on the runway, category is double trouble. Gentlemen, start your engines, and may the best woman win. First up, Cameron Michaels. You know what they say, if you stay Yeti, you ain't got to get Yeti. <laughs> I'm Cameron Michaels, and I am a fierce, fabulous muscle queen. My drag is all about beautiful makeup, beautiful garments, and the moves to back them up. My style is influenced by video game and cinema heroes and the villains. Even though my evil twin is always out to get me, when the stage lights up, so do I. And the light always overtakes the darkness. I'm Karen Michaels' evil twin, Katrina Michaels. Peace! <laughs> Karen Michaels thinks she's so pretty. But come on, she's really two-faced and both of them are busted and ugly. If Cameron Michaels expects to become America's next drag superstar, she better wake up and smell the poppers. Because face it, when people hear Cameron Michaels, they think dude in a dress. <laughs> <laughs>
Eureka. I'm Eureka, and I am a be yourself to free yourself kind of queen. I like family time, laughing, and all you can eat buffets. I'm the life of the party. My drag is all about representing the plus size community with strength, confidence, and beauty. Growing up was hard for me, but I've always fought through difficulties in life with a smile. And I just want to teach others how to do the same. I'm Eureka's evil twin, you filthy whore. Eureka thinks she's beautiful and funny, but come on, she's really a disgusting fat whale that only makes jokes about food and her size. Face it, when people hear Eureka, they think, oh my God, she's gonna dominate the conversation and simply annoy everyone with her desperate need for acceptance. Hey, Eureka, you come from nothing and you ain't never gonna be nothing. Apply for disability and food stamps and give up already. What a filthy whore. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Cracker. I'm Ms. Cracker and I'm the queen of comedy. I like the beats at the bar, the boys on the block, and a nice big uncut lace front. My style is influenced by everything from sci-fi flicks to the Paris runways. She's so worldly. When people hear Miss Cracker, they think, hey, she's smart, but not so smart that she can't be funny. She's just one of the guys, I mean gals. <laughs> Could a guy do this? I'm Miss Cracker's evil twin, Miss Crumbs. Ms. Cracker thinks she's a comedy Barbie, but come on, she's more like a brat stall, and her so-called comedy is just a few puns that she stole from Bob the Drag Queen. Because face it, when people talk about Ms. Cracker, they say she's a copycat who faked her way to the middle. As Ms. Cracker's inner saboteur, I have one thing to say. She better work on blending that jawline. I mean, come on! Ladies and gentlemen, Boniva. <laughs> Aquaria. She gave her left arm for that top. She oh. did. <laughs> I'm Aquaria, and I am a superstar club queen. I am the most wonderful and perfected version of myself. My drag is all about expanding people's perceptions of beauty, style, and gender. My style is influenced by the runways of Paris and Milan, mixed with the gag worthiness of being a club kid spectacle. I always remember to shower myself in positive self-love and praise, because if not, my evil twin will have an opportunity to unleash her wrath. I'm Aquarius' evil twin, Sabatina. Aquaria thinks she's perfect, she's beautiful, she looks like Linda, how oh, gross. Face it, when people hear Aquaria, they think of what a lonely, awkward, and isolated diva she is. I think she's starting to crack, and my destructive power is growing and growing. As Aquaria's inner saboteur, I have one thing to say. Kill the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Joan Crawford was scary, but... <laughs> Asia O'Hara. I'm Asia O'Hara, and I like prancing down this runway, blowing kisses at these judges, and you know, making all the girls tremble backstage. My drag is all about being a fierce queen with an open heart and open mind and the strength to be a true leader. My style is influenced by America's dire need for a high glam drag superhero that is aware of her community. When people see me, they expect a high energy atmosphere, a dazzling evening of magic, and the most beautiful costumes you have ever seen in your life, honey. I am Asia O'Hara's evil twin, North Korea. Asia thinks she's the first bitch that had the money to go buy herself some teeth. But come on, she's really just a middle-aged man living in a 21-year-old's fantasy covered in a layer of cheap rhinestones. If Asia O'Hara expects to be America's next drag superstar, she better drop the smiles and glitter crap and start being the self-indulged pot belly hoe that everybody knows that she is. As Asia's inner saboteur, I have one thing to say. 
stick your own stank booty washed up pageant ass down. This is clearly Miss Cracker season. I can see her demilitarized zone. <laughs> Category is which leads? First up, Akaria C. Davenport. Edgar Allen Ho. <laughs> Babe, I'm trying to give y'all Charlize Theron and Snow White and the Huntsman. I'm a witch that you kind of want to be with her because you want a piece, but you know she's deadly. Well, she really went out on a limb with that bird. It's nice to see her branching out. Yes. <laughs> Vanessa Vanji Mateo. Well, this really proves that black is the new black. <laughs> <laughs> I know they like in this interpretation, because I didn't do the regular degular party city style, which I'm taking it to a high couture runway. Wait, I'm fascinated for the subtleties. This witch is rich, bitch. Witch better have my money. <laughs> <laughs> Plastique Tierra. Maleficent sensational. Angelina, eat your heart out. I'm Maleficent, Asian sister. I'm singed for the gods. I'm giving them face for days. I am feeling my full Maleficent glamour. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fiercest witch of all? Scarlet Envy. Somebody likes to roll around in the hay. <laughs> hey, hey. My concept is a Fire Island witch. She is beachy, she's kind of swampy, and she's giving you pants on the runway and feeling magical. Welcome to RuPaul's Hag Race. <laughs> Nina West. Well, hello, Pilgrim. Yes. <laughs> My look is inspired by a good old-fashioned Salem witch with flames coming up the dress as if I'm being burned at the stake. I am serving old school witch, like literally, from like 1510. Somebody call the fire brigade. Paging Arthur Miller. <laughs> Abigail. Raja O'Hara. This outfit inspires oohs and ahs. <laughs> I'm selling you witch please, straight out of Oz. Head to toe emerald green with purple accented hair. It looks good on me. Why, it's an irregular emerald titty. Yeah. Titty. <laughs> Sugar cane. She's been framed. <laughs> that kind of makes me want a Bloody Mary. <laughs> I am Bloody Mary, urban legend, spooky queen. Snatching up all the kids from the mirror, honey. I am giving you latex dripping blood, tattered Victorian lace dress, and my teeth are all nasty and rotted out. I'm living for this look. Hey, Sugarcane, how's your head? Say it, Elvira, say it. Have another you can play a chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Brooklyn Heights. She is totally two faced. Totally. Uh, my eyes are up here and here. <laughs> This look is inspired by the Enchantress from Suicide Squad. And oddly enough, the Enchantress from Suicide Squad, Cara Delevingne, is our guest judge this week. It's amazing. I'm really hoping she gets the reference. Oh, skull and bone me. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that my opening costume? <laughs> <laughs> Ariel Versace. Bella Hadid, someone stole your glasses. <laughs> I am in my witch, please. I'm giving you a little bit of Meryl Streep from Into the Woods, Miley Cyrus from Can't Be Tamed, avant-garde, very like posh. It's Ariel, witch. Michelle, have you ever seen The Witches of Beast? Witch? <laughs> Evie Oddly, Coven Girl, put the bass in your wall. <laughs> For this look, I wanted to make sure that I'm clearly reading as witch, but with a fashion twist. All the other witches in her coven were jealous. So they put this curse on her, but it's not going to stop her from having a good time. Who said women can't reverse? <laughs> <laughs> Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Nobody beats the Wiz. <laughs> I am doing an homage to Black Cinema, the Wiz, as Eveline, the Wicked Witch of the West. Don't you bring Miss Eveline no bad news. Ease on down the runway, girl. Yes. <laughs> Say hi to Gail for me. <laughs> Category is Milf Eleganza. Monsters I'd like to freak. First up, Akira C. Davenport. Oh, you know, I've seen her on the web. <laughs> Quick, call the exterminator. <laughs> Tonight, I am the queen of the spiders. 
I patted my body so that she definitely has a butt that you wouldn't mind taking a ride on. Definitely freakable. You want some? A Curio C Davenport from Harlot's Web. <laughs> <laughs> I love that book. Vanessa Vangie Mateo. Her milkshake brings all the boys to the graveyard. <laughs> I hope the bird doesn't have an accident. <laughs> <laughs> My look is inspired by Vanity Six. Me, apocalyptic dead hole. If Vanjie was supposed to be dead, this is how she would do it. I would still look sickening. I would have my plunging neckline showing skin. My hair still quaffed. I got my tombstone on my head because I want you to know who I am. This is sexy dead to the teeth. Hey, Vanjie, how's your head? Stone. <laughs> Plastique Tiara. I love a queen who's always smiling. <laughs> Let's get sickling! My monster, I like to freak. It's plastic, death goddess, glamour. The makeup is paying homage to how I started out in drag, being drawn to that more conceptual, more creepy, spooky makeup. I hope the judges can appreciate I'm trying to do something different. She's so handsy. Well, you gotta give her a hand. Or two. <laughs> Scarlet Envy. Ladies and gentlemen, the shape of wig water. <laughs> Wait, isn't that Roomba's mom? <laughs> this outfit is definitely high fashion meets classic cinema. The creature from the Black Lagoon meets the New York City catwalk, darling. I feel weird, I feel fashion, I feel timeless. Now, you read about all the mercury in fish, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Nina West. Oh, look how pretty! Oh. 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 It's a gash, a monster gash. <laughs> <laughs> this is a look that I am very proud of. I've got this House of Wax vibe where my face is falling off and underneath this is this decayed, deformed woman who's crawling out of the grave looking for her long lost love. And I feel so alive and dead in this look. Honey, your lipstick is smeared, love that. <laughs> Raja O'Hare. Oh, look at the size of that snake. That's her oh. trouser snake. That's the longest snake I've ever seen. Well, the only one. <laughs> <laughs> My milk eleganza look is the bone collector. Raja loves to suck a good bone. I'm wearing this sickening pair of pants. Made of fur, and then I throw on some paces. I am serving you skeleton drag queen realness. Hey, when you finish the runway, could you slip by my house and snake my drain? <laughs> Sugar cane. Somebody forgot their bikini wax. <laughs> yes. Working the merkin. <laughs> I'm feeling a sexy wife of Satan milk. She is giving you body, feathers, and bones, and full 70s merkin. I think I'm freakable. She's so LA now, an LA ram. That's a football <laughs> reference. Uh, what? Michelle, have you heard my new song? It's called I Am a Merkin, a Merkin. <laughs> Brooklyn Heights. Sissy that walk. <laughs> Citizen Kane. I am a black widow. This bitch has buried like five husbands. My look is an off the shoulder gown with this black tool wafting around me, almost like smoke. It feels dark, it feels spooky, it feels sexy. Get these mother <laughs> snakes off this mother <laughs> Stage. <laughs> Ariel Versace. Ariola, the little mermaid. <laughs> now I know why she calls herself Ariel. <laughs> so a mermaid and Tinkerbell went into a bar and the rest is history. She is a creature from the Jersey Shore, covered in scales. I know these other queens are green with envy. Yes. What's that perfume you're wearing? Catch of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Evie Oddly. She must be a fellow Brit with those teeth. Yeah. <laughs> My look is this fashion forward eleganza voodoo doll. I've got pieces of frogs and old hands stuck in my hair. And my face has got stitches and a big old button eye. She's serving lace, lace, lace. <laughs> and now in a scene from Macbeth, Dr. Ganache. Out! Out, damn spot! <laughs> <laughs> I am a red she-devil. Red mermaid gown with leather and fur. Hugs all my curves. And I changed up my makeup. Through my beauty, I wanted to show a little beast. 
I hope those judges are horny to see me. Elmo, the later years. <laughs> <laughs> This week, we challenged our all-stars to cast a spell in Rumerican Horror Story, Covent Girls. <laughs> and tonight on the runway, category is, oh my god. All-stars, start your engines, and may the best drag queen win. You wear it well. Up first, Ginger Minj. Uh, it looks like her date's had a rough night. <laughs> what I do best is theater, darling. So I'm like Victorian girl fantasy with my little voodoo doll. I love that voodoo that you do so well. <laughs> Eureka! The higher the hair, the closer to golf. <laughs> Peekaboo! She's 16th century Marge Simpson meets Bride of Frankenstein. And guess what's underneath? A little peekaboo of that negligee, mama. Serving curves and swerves. <laughs> Late the rob. <laughs> Trinity K. Bonet. Hello. Oh, crow, she did it. <laughs> it's tool on top of feathers, on top of sequins, on type of tool, dog. Can't nobody come for me on this runway because my train's so big, it takes up the runway. This Beyonce's very seance -y. Raja O'Hara. Oh, my God. You know, just because it's a funeral don't mean I can't look good. <laughs> I'm serving Naomi Campbell to lack got the glamour, OK? You can't tell me nothing. Who's the A? You stay. <laughs> Akaria C. Davenport. You know why you can see through her headpiece? Why? Because it's holy. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I have a nasty headpiece that's pressing into my skin. And of course, I got spikes showing my curvaceous shape. Ooh la la, she devil. She got BDE, big demon energy. <laughs> Jan, I follow her on Pentagram. Mm -hmm. I am a goth princess bat out of hell, and I do spoof better than any of these other girls. Oh my god, you guys, I think she has a resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie Sonique Love. I'm dead for her. Today, I'm gonna serve holy goth. Just when you thought goth couldn't get sexier, bitch, I'm gonna raise the stakes. The devil wears nada. <laughs> <laughs> Pandora box, and by box, I mean coffin. <laughs> she married, she might have killed, and now she's crying for the world to see. Because she got that money, bitch. And scene. Where's my Emmy? It's curtains for her. <laughs> you, you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of What You Packin'. Hi.